Learn German Games. Fortsetzen. Schon gut, schon gut. Ich komme ja schon. Alright, alright, I'm coming. Okay. Steh da nicht einfach rum. Setz dich hin auf den Hocker der Verantwortung. Don't just stand there. Put down on the stool of responsibility. Schon gut, schon gut. Ich komme ja schon. Alright, alright, I'm coming. If you really want to benefit from this class the most, try to read with me and guess what the sentence means, even though I translated it. This is gonna help you remember it more, yeah? Schon gut, schon gut. Literally means already good, already good, but that's the equivalent of saying all right, all right. And notice here how in the present tense, it's often the case where when you conjugate a verb, you drop the last letter. And so you probably are used to seeing ich komme ja schon with an E at the end, but it's very often the case where they just drop the E. And the ja here does not mean yes, it's just there to show the feeling of frustration and of something obvious. It's like obviously I'm coming. Steh da nicht einfach rum. I don't just stand there. Here we have the verb rumstehen. To stand around. Setz dich hin. Sich hinsetzen. To sit down. And you can see from the color the accusative case in two places here. Auf den Hocker. Was ist ein Hocker? Das hier ist ein Hocker. Notice also for nouns, you see sometimes a colored ending that is going to help you remember the gender. So Hocker ends with ER, which means it's masculine. There's also a dot under the O of Hocker to tell you that the emphasis when you pronounce it on the O. This is not part of German, this is just to help you pronounce better. Der Verantwortung. Notice here and see at the end means that this is a feminine noun, die Verantwortung also. And we have der here because this is the genitive case. It's like saying of the. Don't just stand there, sit down on the stool of. This of is the genitive case, yeah. Okay, wir spielen also weiter. Du kennst die Regeln. You know the rules. Mir ist nicht wirklich danach. Kann ich mich hinlegen? I don't really feel like it. Can I lie down? Ziel. Finde einen Weg, feste auf den Hocke zu locken. Goal. Find a way to lower feste to the stool. Du kennst die Regeln. You know the rules. The regel, you add an N here, you can see on the left, the N is highlighted in white to tell you that this is the plural form you can see here, accusative plural. So without an N, you wouldn't know that this is plural because both plural and singular in this case take D since the regel is feminine. Mir ist nicht wirklich danach. This takes us to our first expression here. Literally, to me, is not really after, if you want to take it literally. Which means, I don't really feel like it. So try to remember this expression. Whenever uh, you don't really feel like doing something, mehr ist nicht wirklich danach. Try to read it now to remember it better. Kann ich mich uh, hinlegen? Can I lie down? Das Verb hier ist sich hinlegen. A reflexive verb. Ziel. Finde einen Weg, Feste auf den Hocke zu locken. Find a way to lure Feste to the stool. Locken is to lure. Notice here how when you find something, you use the uh, accusative. And we have an N here at the end because Weg is masculine. In this case, we're going to translate it as way, but you can also say path. Uh, don't be confused by Feste, that's his name, yeah? Auf den Hocker. On the stool, also das hier. Okay, also, wir müssen feste schieben. Äh, uh, wie geht das eigentlich? <lacht> okay, nicht schubsen, ich setz mich nicht hin, von wegen. Don't push, I'm not sitting down, no way. Ich mach das trotzdem. <lacht> er ist so faul. Nein, ich will nicht. Ich setze mich nicht hin. 
No, I don't want to. I'm not sitting down. Doch. <laughs> Geht nicht. Nicht schubsen. Don't push. Notice here how you give a command in the most common way. You keep the verb and the infinitive. If you want to tell somebody not to do something and you add nicht before it. Yeah. Nicht schubsen. So you don't actually have to conjugate it. And a lot of the times you see this imperative mood on signs to tell you what not to do in hotels and stuff. Yeah. Ich setz mich nicht hin. I'm not going to sit down. Remember here, sich hinsetzen, to sit down. On wegen, uh, we have a missing word here. You can see it on the top. On wegen means no way. It's an as if. Nein, ich will nicht. Ich setz mich nicht hin. No, I don't want to. I'm not sitting down. So as you can see, you can practice being a spoiled brat in this game. <laughs> By the way, if you're reading with me here to practice, try to put a bit of feeling in your reading because the feeling is going to help you remember better because whenever you have those feelings yourself, you're more likely to remember those sentences. Okay, also wer schubst in ihn? Okay, er will das nicht. Schon gut, schon gut. Um, wie können wir ihn locken? Helfer, was machen wir? Ob es schneit oder regnet, ob die Sonne oder der Mond scheint, nichts hindert diese Herolde an der geschwinden Erledigung der ihnen zugewiesenen Aufgaben. Nein, ich will mich nicht drücken. No, I don't want to shirk, as in shirk responsibility, yeah. Ob es schneit oder regnet, whether it snows or rains, ob die Sonne oder der Mond scheint, whether the sun, die Sonne, der Mond, the moon scheint. So whether it's snowing or raining, whether the sun or the moon is shining, nichts hindert die Herolde an der geschwinden Erledigung der ihnen zugewiesenen Aufgaben. Hindern is to prevent. Herald is a herald. If you don't know, a herald is uh, somebody who used to uh, deliver messages. Yeah, you know, messages like scrolls, officially. Geschwind means rapidly or swiftly. Erledigung, execution, as an execution of a task. Zuweisen is to assign. So, zugewiesenen means assigned, Aufgaben is tasks. So if you are a beginner and you're finding this a bit too much, that's okay. You will get used to it and you watch a lot more of these, you will get used to it, yeah? So, nothing prevents these heralds from swiftly or rapidly completing the tasks assigned to them. He's actually reading some sign on the wall to remind him of his uh, duties. Okay, also was sind eigentlich seine Aufgaben? Staubwischen? Ziel. Schau dir mal den ganzen Staub an. Versuch ihn wegzuwischen. Notice here, by the way, sometimes you're gonna see words with their pictures and a colored border that tell you the gender of it. You can see here a picture of dust next to a broom and the color of the border is blue, which means it's der Staub, ja? Yeah? Also, schau dir mal den ganzen Staub an, versuch ihn wegzuwischen. A goal, look at all the dust, try to wipe it away. Also, wir machen das so. Schau nur, was ist das? Look, what's that? Wo sind denn nur alle? Der Hof ist verlassen. Nelson. Where is everyone? The courtyard is deserted. Strange. Ziel. Schau dir mal den ganzen Staub an. Das Verb hier ist 
sich anschauen. This is a very common way to say to look at something in spoken German. I'm sure a lot of you are used to the verb ansehen or sich ansehen, but this is also very, very common. And you can see here that this is a separable verb. The parts of it are underlined with a dashed line. So you can see here, schau ein. The second part of separable verbs go to the end. So literally, goal. Look yourself. This is the reflexive part of the verb. Mal just makes the statement a little bit uh, soft. Yeah, it doesn't have a meaning itself. But it's like saying, look at it for a bit. You know, in English, when you say for a bit, oftentimes it's just to make the command a bit softer, a bit more polite. This is the same thing you use mal for. Den ganzen Staub, because Staub is masculine. Der Staub. Versuch ihn wegzuwischen. Das Verb hier ist eigentlich versuchen und wegwischen. Wegwischen is a separable verb. You add the zu in the middle of it. So literally, a way to wipe. Go, look at all the rust. Try to wipe it away. Schau nur, was ist das? Look, what is that? Schau nur, nur literally means only, but it's often the case when it actually means just. So this literally means just look. And the verb here is schauen. This is the imperative form of it. Wo sind denn nur alle? Where is everybody? Der Hof ist verlassen. Seltsam. Was ist ein Hof? Courtyard. Und seltsam heißt strange. Also, was ist denn das hier? Ich sehe Augen. Ach, eine Spinne. Tester. Wir müssen mal ein ernstes Wort miteinander reden. Tester, we need to have a serious word with each other. Oh. Ziel. Übernimm die Rolle von Noir und von Fester. Go. Take up the role of Noir and of Fester. So we're gonna have a conversation and we're gonna decide what each person is going to say. Fester. Wir müssen mal ein ernstes Wort miteinander reden. Again here, notice the use of mal to make the command softer and more polite. Und was heißt ernst? Serious. We add an es at the end because what is a neuter, as you can tell from the orange color. So we need to have a serious word with each other. Ziel. Übernimm die Rolle von Noah. Das Verb ist übernehmen. It's constructed just like in English, take over. It's literally overtake. And notice the dash after the E, which means you have to stretch the E when you speak it. And this is because you have an H after it. Ja? Übernehmen und nicht übernehmen. Ja? Oder übernehmen. So all of these pronunciations are wrong, except the first one. Übernehmen. So take the role of Noah and Fester. Fester. Du musst gehen. Hier ist kein Platz für Schnarchnasen. Fester, you have to go. There's no place for snorers here. Snorers as in lazy people. Also. These are the choices we can pick. Let's see what we're gonna tell them. Was? Von wegen? Ich bleib hier. What? As if I'm staying here. No, we're polite. We're not gonna tell them that. Gib mir was zu tun. Ich mach's versprochen. Give me something to do. I'll do it. Promise. Ich verspreche, ich werde nie mehr in der Klammer schlafen. I promise I will never sleep in the room again. Okay, um, I'm a nice guy, so I'm gonna answer nice. Gib mir was zu tun. Ich mach's versprochen. Ich hätte da die perfekte Aufgabe für dich. Kinderspiel. I had the perfect task for you. Child's play, a piece of cake. Was muss ich tun? What should I do? Es traurig. Wie weit muss ich laufen? How far should I walk? Kommt jemand mit? Is anyone coming with me? Okay, um, wir sagen mal, um, 
Was muss ich tun? Ach, nichts Besonderes. Du sollst einfach nur eine Nachricht überbringen. Oh, nothing special. You're just supposed to deliver a message. Gib mir was zu tun. Here, was is short for etwas, something. In spoken German, it's often the case where you replace etwas by was. Ja. Also, gib mir etwas zu tun. Ich mach's. Same thing here, we drop the E. In spoken German, it's often the case. So, otherwise, you would say, ich mache es. But it's very rare that you would hear a German say that. They would just say, ich mach's. Ja. Versprochen. Promised. Ich hätte da die perfekte Aufgabe für dich. Kinderspiel. I have the perfect task for you. Child's play. Was muss ich tun? What should I do? Wie weit muss ich laufen? How far should I walk? Be careful with this verb here. Laufen. Technically speaking, laufen means to run. But its actual meaning is regional. In northern Germany, it's often the case where it means to walk. In southern Germany and Austria, it's more often the case means to run. So you have to learn from context to figure out what they actually mean. Yeah? Here from context, it's obvious that he is not required to run, so he means to walk. Kommt jemand mit? Is anybody coming along? Das Verb hier ist mitkommen. Also, small pronunciation tip for you. Whenever you have a separable verb like mitkommen, Always emphasize the prefix mit. Ach, nichts Besonderes. Du sollst einfach nur eine Nachricht überbringen. Oh, nothing special. You should only deliver, überbringen, eine Nachricht. A message. Und besonders uh, special. Ja. Ach, nichts Besonderes. Du sollst einfach nur eine Nachricht überbringen. Wem denn? To whom then? Und wo? And where? Notice how in German you use the dative when you want to say to whom. Wem? Sind das Fragen, die ein wahrer Herald stellt? Are these questions that a real Herald asks? Wie jetzt? How now? Soll das ein Witz sein? Is that supposed to be a joke? Feste, sei bloß nicht albern. Das ist hier kein Spaß. Feste, don't be silly. This is not fun here. We're not joking around. Die Welt von Avaron steht vor dem Untergang. The world of Avaron is on the brink of destruction. Du musst den Helden finden, der Avaron noch retten kann. You need to find the hero who can still save Avaron. Gib ihm diese Schriftrolle, den Ruf des Abenteuers. Give him the scroll, the call of adventure. Menschenleben stehen auf dem Spiel. Human lives are at stake. Es ist unsere Pflicht, die Heroldspflicht, den Retter von Avalanche zu finden. It is our duty, the Herald's duty, to find the rescuer of Avalanche. Sind das Fragen, die ein wahrer Herold stellt? Are these questions that a true Herald asks? Notice how in German you set a question. Wie jetzt? How now? Soll das ein Witz sein? Is that supposed to be a joke? Der Witz. Beste, sei bloß nicht albern. Das ist hier ein Spaß. Beste, don't be silly. This is not fun here. Alban means silly or foolish. Und Spaß is fun. Or bloß literally means bare or naked, but it doesn't have this meaning here. It just has the meaning of just. So just don't be silly if you want to translate literally. Die Welt von Avalanche steht vor dem Untergang. The world of Avalanche is on the brink of destruction. Der Untergang is destruction or downfall, ruin, downfall. Literally, the world of Avarange is in front of the destruction. For dem, and notice the green means that this is the dative case. 
Du musst den Helden finden, der Avaron noch retten kann. You have to find the hero who can still save Avaron. Der Held. Und retten. Menschenleben stehen auf dem Spiel. Human lives. Das Menschenleben. Literally are standing on the game, which means are at stake. Es ist unsere Pflicht, die Pflicht, Duty, die Heraldspflicht, die Herald's Duty, den Retter, the Savior, von Avarange zu finden. We're using the accusative here, the den, because that's what we have to find. Gib ihm diese Schriftrolle. Das hier ist eine Schriftrolle. Den Ruf des Abenteuers. The call of adventure. So, and we're saying in English of the, this is why we have the genitive case, which is represented by the S at the end of this, and the S at the end of the noun Abenteuer. Das Abenteuer. All right, that was our class for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you had a great time and you learned something. If you have any questions, ask me in the comments below. Learn German games. Like this video, please.